And moreover, Peta, why Mario? Mario is Mickey f***ing Mouse! Mario is good, clean fun for the whole f***ing family! I'll tell you why. Because a new Mario game just came out, and you're hoping against hope that you'll get swept up in the Googling! Everyone knows who PETA is. I'm not going to go into in-depth what PETA is about, what they do. And they released an article yesterday talking about Animal Crossing New Horizons and whether or not it is vegan friendly. I can't help but laugh because we're talking about like the cutest, most innocuous little game where nothing matters. Okay, everything in this is presented as a form of entertainment for the person playing the game, so none of it really matters because it's a video game and everything is happening digitally in a world that does not exist. PETA, they're back. And this time, they're trying to ruin Animal Crossing. Looks like PETA already tried to take a stab at the game and then tried to backtrack on their Twitter after receiving backlash. Greetings, everybody, and welcome back to uh, yet another failed attempt at being relevant after a two-week gap of my previous video. Nah, but in all seriousness, that video was genuinely a lot of fun to make. I'm really happy with how that video turned out, and I'm really surprised with as much touch as I got, uh, although only like 2% of people have seen it. I'm still genuinely happy that it got at least some kind of recognition, especially considering how much time I put into it but I don't want to pull my strings just yet. So um, at this point, just about everybody in their cat are dealing with this quarantine situation, I myself included. I've been quarantined for about the past month right now, and I've been trying to play games so I can get my mind off of it. Some of the games I've been playing lately is obviously Minecraft. There's uh, the new Beat Saber that I've been playing recently, which I plan on making a video about, but I haven't done that yet, but I have recorded the video stuff for it. Mine in the way. I don't know what to mine, I'll mine this anyway. And most recently, the one I'm genuinely happy about playing, Animal Crossing New Horizons. I've legit been playing this game non-stop for the past couple days ever since I got it, and uh, I, I, I think I might need to get some help for it. Imagine if somebody got legitimately scared and had to go to therapy because they were playing non-stop Animal Crossing. This game was designed for just about everybody. It was designed for people who love animal- Nah, but not seriously, this game is a lot of fun. I recommend those that have the money to go and get it because this game gives you a lot more freedom than you had previously. In fact, it even gets to the point where you can design the island yourself. You can get this terraforming thing when you get the three-star island and you can form the island the way you want it. It's basically Animal Crossing Maker in a way. And I don't care about what fence you're on when it comes to time traveling. It's still genuinely fun with or without it. But I don't want to discuss about it too much because I'm planning on making a review about it because now I want to discuss something that's been popping up lately that a lot of people are getting on the fence on. I'm certainly not the first person to talk about this, and I certainly won't be the last person to talk about this. And surprisingly, I haven't talked about it before until now, and it is the animal rights organization People for the Ethical Treatment of Animals, aka PETA. And oh boy, do we have a lot to talk about. So, just recently, PETA released an entire article about the vegan guide to Animal Crossing New Horizons. And it goes through everything on how you can create a vegan-friendly experience playing the game. Now, I'm gonna go out on a limb and say this, but it's okay to be vegan. As long as you're doing it for the right reasons, it's okay to be a vegan or a vegetarian. It's alright. In fact, there's a lot of people I'm legitimately fans of that are vegan, including the legendary Billie Eilish, which is weird to bring up because I already made a video about her. And as long as you're not trying to force it into other people's throats, again, it's okay to be vegan. But this kind of stuff here, this, th this is the kind of stuff that gives vegans a bad rep. Thousands of people were just coming and gaming it, and it got to the point where PETA had to backtrack and say something positive about the game all because of it. They didn't even say sorry, they just tried to make something positive about it. It's so stupid. Also, uh, PETA, don't you kind of find it very absurd that you're upset about people hurting animals in a video game when, uh, you yourselves hurt animals in, uh, real life? So, 
yeah, for today's video, we are going to be reading through this article and discuss all the things that are terrible about it. But before I can get into it, I want to thank my two favorite YouTubers, RGT85 and Illuminati, for making videos about this topic and bringing light to it. Both of them are some of my personal favorite YouTubers, and I recommend you go check them out. And I guess it's now irrelevant for me to keep all the subscription and like begging stuff all the way to the end, so I have to bring up Mimblade through the video for some reason. Even Pyrocynical is even doing it, even though he actually made a video a while back saying that you should keep all that stuff to the end, so it's kind of hypocritical, but at the same time, that was an old opinion. So right now, I have a Nerf gun in my hand, and I won't shoot it at you unless you hit the subscribe button, notification bell, or something like that, and probably pop up that one purple statistic that nearly every YouTuber nowadays is bringing up. Ugh, YouTube has seriously gotten downhill, man. So with all that said, let's dive right into the cringe. So, the article begins by saying this, With everyone self-isolated at home and finding themselves on social media more than ever, by now you've probably heard about Nintendo's new game, Animal Crossing New Horizons. This vegan guide to it will help answer some of the tough ethical questions that it presents, as well as give you an opportunity to help real animals while living your island life. My god, what a major red flag from the start. Animal Crossing isn't a symbolism of saving animals, it's a symbolism of freedom. Legit, the, the whole game talks about living your free life and doing whatever you want. Is fishing in Animal Crossing vegan? This is a biggie. Fishing isn't vegan. <laughs> fishing isn't vegan. You shouldn't fish in real life, so you shouldn't do so in the game either. Sure, unlike in real life, the fish in the game don't feel pain, but fishing is harmful to animals and the planet. Yeah, but uh, the problem with that is fishing is an important thing in real life, and you probably need to do some fishing in order to get through the game properly. And it also looks like they haven't played through this game either, because although you are catching these fish, yes, they're technically still alive, because you can place them down, and they'll come with a fish tank, and you can see them moving around and everything. Every fish you catch in the game comes with that fish tank, and you don't have to buy it. So, what you're basically telling me is, it's not okay to catch these fish and save them in safe habitats and keep them alive, but it's okay to steal and game in actual real-life animals like cats and dogs? Is that what you're telling me, PETA? This is your island, and it's your job to protect it. Tearing the wildlife right out of their ocean homes so that you could donate them to blathers for museum exhibits is not only cruel, but also bad for the environment. What kind of environments are they talking about where there's anthropomorphic animals that can speak English or Japanese or any other language? And also, have you even been to Blathers Museum? These fish are legitimately protected. They have safe environments, just like a real life aquarium. And same goes for the insects too, but we'll get onto that later. In the real world, every year, anglers leave behind a trail of tackle victims that include millions of birds, turtles, dolphins, and other animals who sustain debilitating injuries after they swallow fish hooks or become entangled in fishing lines. Wildlife rehabilitators say that discarded fishing tackle is one of the greatest threats to aquatic animals. Don't let this happen on your island. Alright, while it is true that fish and other animals can get hurt from a fish hook, there are other ways to safely catch fish and keep them as pets. And also, if you're genuinely scared of hurting a fish when you're trying to catch it in Animal Crossing, just get the outdoorsy fishing rod. It replaces the bob with a, a rubber ducky. Oh, uh, that, that might trigger PETA too because ducks are real animals. It's disappointing that a game in which villagers from all different species, from elements to ducks to deers and pigs, coexist harmoniously with humans, encourages abusive behavior towards fish and insects. That's because you can't put a deer on the same spectrum as a fish, and you can't put them on the same perspective as an insect either and plus even in the game you could see some of these animals catching those insects too and not only that but you can also give those said insects and fish to other people and they'll like it i actually gave an animal a little butterfly and they thought it was cute so who are you to talk whether or not these animals like catching insects? Instead of being recognized as the living, breathing, feeling individuals they are, they are presented as forms of entertainment for the other villagers. Your island should be a safe space for all animals, big and small. Again, there's not really any way to hurt these animals. Again, they come with their own natural habitats. What are you talking about? What are you on, PETA? Is it okay to catch bugs in Animal Crossing? From butterflies to wharf roaches, your island is a bustling home for various insects and other little animals. Keep it that way. Blathers would like to build a museum of fish and insects on your island. Don't let him do it. Just as fish don't belong in takes, insects don't belong inside cramped cases, even though they have actually a big case in the museum, 
in a museum for other villagers to gawk at. Your island should be a place where wild animals are free to live without being captured and exploited. In the real world, animals suffered with captivity at places like SeaWorld, bad example, and roadside zoos. They're deprived of everything that's natural and important to them, even though they're not. In Animal Crossing, you have the choice to let the animals on your island live free from harm, so please leave them alone. There's already a bunch of major problems with this paragraph alone. While it is true that SeaWorld is not a really good place for those animals, there are a ton of much better aquariums that keep them in a better place and are happy as hell to live there. Again, you shouldn't be the one to talk about these animals if you don't know what their exact feelings are. Especially when you don't have the concept of a dog being happy to live in a house with humans. You idiots! Now, here in the article is where they just start reaching and don't have a clue what they're talking about. Do clams feel pain? On your island, you could dig for clams. Here's why you shouldn't. Thing is though, people still have no idea whether or not clams can feel pain. Yeah, they have a nervous system, but they don't have a central nervous system, which is what helps them detect pain. And they can't really move either, so there's no reason as to why they should feel pain. Back to the article. Clams are bivalves who may look less familiar to us than mammals, but they still deserve consideration and respect. But um, here's the thing, I don't know if you can really respect them or not, because you have to find them in the sand. Uh, so uh, yeah, th there's really no respect that they had to begin with. Also, here is where a major contradictory begins. You see, throughout your time on the island, you'll see this washed up seagull that goes by the name of Gulliver. After you wake him up, he realizes that his communicator parts are missing and you have to go find them. However, the only way to find them is to dig through the sand. Now, PETA is supposedly known for wanting to help animals, right? Well, what if they wanted to help this washed up seagull trying to get his way home and want to find those communicator parts? They'll end up accidentally picking up one of those clams as it is impossible to tell whether or not you are going to get either a communicator part or a clam. So what exactly are you supposed to do if you want to help the seagull, but don't want to pick up a clam? Well, in that case, you just need some really good luck. They're capable of a surprising range of behavior. Did you know, for instance, that they can escape from danger by burying through sand? And the source link they provided us with is, uh, again, uh, through their own site instead of any other outside sources. Now, uh, don't get me wrong, there are genuinely good websites that source their own stuff, but uh, at the same time, there are some bad ones too. Pete is a definitely good example of that. Although it's unclear whether they feel pain, <clears throat> in the real world, they play an important role in the ecosystem. And if they do feel pain, <clears throat> they constitute a huge group of animals suffering for food every year. It's best to be safe and sorry and not dig for clams on your island. Again, that's kind of unfair for you to tell us what to do in a video game when you're kind of doing the same stuff in real life. Oh my god, what the f*** is wrong with you, PETA? Now here's where the article just drives me insane. Should I leave the hermit crabs in the game alone? Hermit crabs love hanging out on the shore of your island. Leave them alone. When you capture a hermit crab in the game, the screen says, I caught a hermit crab, I think it wanted to be left alone. In this situation, the game demonstrates surprising awareness that we shouldn't be bothering these animals and taking them from their homes. Here's the thing though, everything that you catch in this game has a screen like that. And those screens are always going to be a pun or a joke. The textbook definition of hermit is any person living in solitude or seeking to do so. And the definition of solitude is the state or situation of being alone. So the word hermit means something wanting to be alone. So it is a pun about that word. It's not trying to go into detail about how we should leave these animals alone. It's just a f***ing pun. Your character is f***ing sans in a way because everything that they say is a pun. Have you caught any other animal in this game besides the hermit crab and seen a pun like this? They are just as cheesy! In real life, hermit crabs can live for more than 30 years in their natural habitat on tropical seashores. But after being purchased in the pet trade, which doesn't exist in this game, most don't live for more than a few months to a year. Don't take hermit crabs from your island's breaches and sell them to Blathers or Timmy Nook. Oh my f***ing god, here we go. Here's the problem, you can't sell them to Blathers? You can donate them, but you can't make money off of them for blathers. And also, Timmy and Tommy are not related to Tom Nook. Although they're Tanookis, they're not even remotely related to Tom Nook in any way. 
Oh my god, how little of the game do we even know about, Peter? Post-production update, uh, as it turns out, a lot more than I expected. As it turns out, both Timmy and Tommy do indeed have last names, and that last name being Nook. Proof of this is later shown in their statue screen for the Super Smash Bros. series. I would apologize at the moment, but because we're talking about PETA, I'm not going to, so let's move on. My voice is cracking right now because of how angry I am! They're not objects, they're individuals. <laughs> what would a vegan eat on a desert island? Now, the whole world knows the answer to the eternal question of what a vegan would eat on a desert island. Fruit! In the video game, it makes you strong. Yeah, although that is true, it's not a symbolism of veganism, you idiots. When you eat enough fruit, you actually become strong enough to shatter rocks and receive extra bells and resources from them. Oh, can the rock feel pain too? I also love how they completely skip over the fact that when you eat a fruit, you can also pick up trees because, you know, uh, plants can live and stuff, and uh, PETA would be all over that shit by now, the same way that they did with the clams earlier. What other vegan food can you eat in the game? Islands have different starting fruits, including the following, apples, cherries, coconuts, oranges, peaches, and pears. Visit friends or mystery islands to collect every type of fruit for a colorful menu of vegan snacks. What could vegans wear in the game? Wait, hold up. What could vegans wear in the game? Are you f***ing serious? Are we getting to the point where we need to discuss what we have to wear in the game too? Being vegan means not only not eating animals, which you can't, but also not wearing them. Avoiding products made with fur, leather, wool, down, or cashmere, and often instead of clothing made with vegan material like cotton, microfiber, hemp, nylon, or polyester prevents animals from being s or fashion. Who he cares? You can't do all of that in the game. How would you know what kind of material a product is made out of? How could you know in a game like Animal Crossing? In addition, wearing vegan is much better for the environment. In Animal Crossing New Horizons, you could buy fun, animal-friendly items like pleather shorts and pleather sneakers. Even in the fictional world of this game, sentencing animals to a lifetime of suffering before and skinning them just to wear their skin, fur, or feathers is so not cool. Why would any of that be Animal Crossing, especially if they're wearing the clothing too? You can see Animal Crossing characters wearing clothing in the game. You don't know what it's made out of. You probably could be wearing the stuff that they're made out of. They could be doing some kind of symbolism. Why should you care so much about what we wear in the game when you have no idea what you are talking about? About. Should I build a doghouse? I'm assuming you can't. If you get instructions to build a doghouse, don't. Life at the end of a heavy short chain is all too real. An issue for many dogs in the US. Oh my god. Alright, while it is true that there are a lot of abusive animal owners in the real world, that has nothing to do with Animal Crossing. Right now, countless dogs are constrained outdoors in all weather conditions with chains just like the one pictured here. Even though there really isn't a dog there, it's just a dog house, and I don't think you can even get a dog in the game either, especially if that's considered uh, some kind of pet fetish or something because there are live dogs in this game that you could talk to and have as villagers. Languishing alone and struggling to survive long days and nights without proper shelter from the elements. Often, these lonely dogs are deprived of even the basics, such as food, water, or in veterinary care. They're forced to spend their lives in solitary confinements, regulated to the backyard without any companionship, play, or exercise. Dogs are individuals who belong in homes. Wait. Dogs are individuals who belong in homes? Okay, they're, they're, they're just shitting with us here. Why are you telling us that it's okay to keep a dog in a home when you're also telling us not to do it at the same time? What side are you on? Okay, back to the article. Dogs are individuals who belong in homes, not on a chain. Please don't mistreat them on your island. It's Tom no as Okay, no, 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 no. We're not getting in on that. Apparently, PETA hates the idea of the words Nintendo and Tanuki being in the same sentence. They already did that a couple years ago with Super Mario 3D Land, and now they're doing it here. I have never seen such a back and forth article in my life. Tom Nook is a Tanuki, or a raccoon dog, who are often for their fur. Others like him in the real world are beaten, executed, gassed, or alive. Cut him some slack. Um, so... Is he exploiting us though? Are, are you gonna tell us if he's exploiting us or not? What does this have anything to do with the game? 
Who is Harvey? One of the many unique villagers you meet in Animal Crossing New Horizons is Harvey the dog. He's a total hippie. He loves nature and he's vegan. In previous games, he expressed his fondness for vegan burritos and his love for birds. Spoiler alert, in Animal Crossing, the generous vegan dog will invite you over to his island and allow you to use his photo studio, Photopia, free of charge. There you can make cool sets, try on different costumes, even though I thought you told us not to wear clothing, and even use models in one of Harvey's five rooms for photo shoots. So you're telling us it's not okay to catch fish and insects and keep them protected, but it's okay to force animals to take photos with you and keep them that way for life. And also, you should probably know that you can also uh, take photos with uh, Tom Nook. You should uh, probably know that. Also, I don't want to even remotely skim over the Isabel section because Isabel is way too freaking adorable and doesn't deserve to be treated like this. How can you spread animal rights through Animal Crossing? Um, here's the thing. Don't. Give your island an animal-friendly name like VEGANVILLE! Customize your passport with a phrase like hashtag and speciesism or adopt, don't shop, or go vegan! Make custom designs, post a bulletin to instruct your visitors to leave wildlife alone! Oh my god, stop! Stop! You're ruining the game for us! How can you enjoy your island in an animal-friendly way? Instead of fishing or catching insects, oh yeah, it's totally wrong for us to keep them protected, engage in animal-friendly activities when your friends come to visit your island, like having a bonfire, even though fires can nearly kill people, playing music together under the stars, or discovering a secret beach together. Sit back and enjoy wildlife knowing that you're causing no real or virtual harm to animals. So, is PETA against Animal Crossing New Horizons? PETA hopes the game will encourage people to feel closer to the animals we share our planet with and inspire them to work to hashtag and speciesism. The misguided belief that humans are superior to all other animal species and that it's okay for us to exploit some species in horrible ways for our own trivial purposes. Animal Crossing New Horizons is fantastical in many ways. Wow! So you went through this entire rant telling us that the game is bad for this kind of stuff and now you're telling us it's good? Uh, in a way, it's fantastical in many ways, but when you look a little closer, you realize that there are even more ways in which it's realistic. Even though, uh, the game has talking f***ing animals, how, how is that realistic anyway? Well, other animals don't speak the same language we do, definitely not. They really do have their own means of communication and individual personalities. By populating your island with animals such as sheep, deer, and rabbits who have strong personalities, even though you get them at random, Nintendo is reinforcing the important fact that animals are individuals. And then it goes to this whole point of telling us which animals to get in the game, including Agnes, who's this really sweet pig, and an elephant by the name of Axel. The premise of Animal Crossing New Horizons should send the important message that other animals are individuals with whom we share the world, not objects for us to exploit. We are all animals, and we all deserve respect. Take a break from your island life and help reward animals online today. Now, here is where things begin to bother me, and it makes me feel like they didn't play this game as much as they thought they did. Although it is true that you can catch fish and keep them in cases and donate them and all that, there is one more thing. Something that has been visibly present in those functionalities for about as long as the game itself. Releasing them. If you don't want to keep a hold of that fish, but you don't want to sell it either, you could just simply let it go. You can release it out into the wild. And not only that, but they also fade out, meaning that you can't catch them again if you just release them. As PETA says in the article, the game is about wildlife and letting them be free. Well, if that's what you want to do, and if you still want to catch them, you could just simply let them go. But PETA never brings that up. And what bothers me even more is that PETA is well known for keeping a lot of their animals basically in hostage. And although I don't want to get into it, I can simply tell you that I've done plethora of research about their brand, and they are some of the worst people that you could ever deal with when it comes to ethical treatment for animals. So in a way, this game is actually doing a lot better than you, PETA. And that's sad because this is a fictional video game for $60. So the next time you want to criticize something innocent that has nothing to do with what you were talking about, make sure they're doing a better job at it than you. Because we're not dealing with this anymore. You've done it to Mario 3D Land, and now you've done it to Animal Crossing. 
please stop trying to make something out of nothing for once. Oh my god, that is, oh, and that, and that is how the article ends. So, uh, yeah, as you can tell, it is terrible. One of the worst articles I've ever read in my life. There was so much contradictory, there was so much back and forth, there were so many weird instances of whether or not they're liking the game or not liking the game, it is terrible. And it got so bad to the point where they had to start backtracking. Now, the reason I call it backtracking is because whenever PETA posts something, they just post it and leave it alone. But here, they had to respond. They had to respond to the criticism. And instead of apologizing, they just made it worse. So they replied back to their original tweet about the article by saying, quote, hashtag Animal Crossing New Horizons could be a fun reminder to be kind to the animals we share our world with. Sheets, pigs, mice, and others on our islands have big personalities, just like animals in real life. Thanks at Nintendo America for reinforcing animals are individuals, not objects. I just love the fact that they go from telling all of this terrible stuff about the game to being like, Oh, Animal Crossing is so fun, you should totally spend 60 bucks on it. Which, by the way, you should. The game is a legitimate game and you shouldn't spend it for reasons like this. Even to this day, nobody still knows what side they are on when it comes to this game. And I'm sorry that I haven't gone into this article uh, earlier, but I, I just need to discuss it now because it's starting to get worse. Especially when I've played the game for almost a whole week now. So yeah, in short, this Animal Crossing New Horizons article is terrible, and the only thing it makes me want to do right now is head over to my local McDonald's. But I want to hear what you think. What are your thoughts on Animal Crossing New Horizons? What are your thoughts on PETA? What are your thoughts on this article? Tell me all that in the comments. And if you have any other suggestions for what you want me to talk about next, and if you have any fan or you want to submit to me, you can submit them all via Twitter, Discord, or in the comment section below. And if you did enjoy this video, hit the like button, and if you're new, to the subscribe button, and the notification bell so you'll be notified whenever I upload a video. And if someone wants to support me even further, Further, then you can go over to my coffee page or my teespring page which will both be in the description below we're doing a lot so that way everybody could stay safe during this whole quarantine thing during this whole process that we're going through right now that i can't say because i'll get demonetized for it but you know what i'm talking about teespring is doing whatever they can so everybody can stay safe while purchasing merchandise so with all that said thank you all so much for watching and i'll see you in the next video bye when you human when eats, human eats. Uh, peter makes money off animal abuse